What I want to discuss in this video uh, briefly is just changing the page size. Um, we've talked about that in another video, but I want to show you some different options for that. And then also adding uh, text boxes and, and adding two different types of text boxes. Um, one that uh, will be a permanent part of the template and another that you can modify um, for example, as you're going through a portfolio, you might be adding project one, project two, drawing one, drawing two, and uh, you, you want to change that text. So, um, but then there'll be other text that's part of your project that you won't want to change. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do first. Uh, when we did our last video, what we talked about was going to view, going to slide master and once you're in slide master going to page setup and changing the page size okay so we did that I'm going to close out of the master view here um, another way to do that would be to uh, click on the design tab and from the design tab go to page setup and then um, I'm going to change this to eight and a half by 14 which is a size that could easily be printed from a home printer click OK and there we go we still have a good format here and if you're viewing this on a um, a high def monitor, um, you know, or printing it, it would be a nice layout. Okay, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add text. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to add a text box, and I'm just going to click here, and I'm going to call this um, the portfolio. All right, and now um, what I also want to do here is create a secondary text box. Click over here and I'll just put my name in here. All right, um, one thing I always recommend to people is uh, put your name on every page of every portfolio, of every um, page of a resume. Uh, make sure people know who you are so um, you know, so that'll be easy for them to uh, keep in touch with you and to keep you in mind as you're looking through a portfolio. Uh, I am going to go ahead and add a third text box for now. And I'm going to click close to the center here. I'm going to come up and I'm going to click um, center text on this one. And I'm going to call this, uh, I'll call this drawing one. I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to make it bold so it stands out a little bit. All right, now, you notice these are not aligned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all three of these text boxes. Or what you can also do is uh, click on any one of them. And I had a little extra piece there. You can click on a text box, hold down your control key, click on the next one, click on the next one. Uh, I'm going to go up to Format, Align, and I'm going to do Align Middle. If you do Align Center, they're going to be stacked. So we'll... Uh, undo that. So let's go to align and do align middle and that way they're all aligned. Uh, the spacing looks pretty good on the page so I'm going to go with that for now. Now um, if you notice on this next slide they're not there. What I could do is highlight these, copy, go to this slide and then just do a paste and they will come in exactly where they're supposed to be and if I do a new slide um, I could do the same thing with the new slide. So this is, of course, one way to do it. Now, the problem with doing it this way, uh, to get your title on every page, is that you could make an error, you could bump it at some point and not realize it, and if you bump it and you go back slide to slide, it looks like it bounces, and that, that's definite um, something you don't want it to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this text just as is. I am going to um, open up our I'm going to open up our master slide, our slide master, click on the top one, and I will insert this information. Um, so one of the things that I want to do now that I've done this is delete the one in the middle, and I'm just going to do a, a copy or a cut so I can keep it um, on my clipboard to paste in a second. So I'm going to cut that one and then uh, close out of my master view. And the reason I cut this one is I want the portfolio and my name on every page. But I don't necessarily want drawing one on every page. So now let's close that view. So um, let me uh, highlight these, delete them. Okay, so now this is every time I click on a new slide, I will have this information. Um, what I am going to do now is go ahead and paste 
drawing one. I'm going to create a new slide and I'll paste drawing one, but actually this is going to be drawing two now. Okay, and I'm going to keep kind of doing that for um, each type of project. So paste, and uh, maybe this isn't a drawing, maybe this is model one. Okay, all right, so I could do that, and so that way that every time someone goes to a page, you know, here's, here's just a regular blank slide, and here's one with the drawing titles, and everything's in the same spot, looks nice and neat, and it shows a sense of continuity. All right, uh, what I, one more just quick item I want to do here is um, I'm going to go back to my slide master view because, you know, you're, as you're working on building a portfolio, you're constantly going to be, um, you know, modifying it. And if you modify it in slide master instead of trying to modify it page to page, you're, you're probably going to have a better end result because of continuity and consistency. Uh, what I want to do is I want to add something in here. This is kind of drab. Um, so, and, and again, you'll, you know, I'm just doing this as a, as a guide for you, not uh, as a way to do it exactly. Um, let's see, I'm going to add, uh, I think I'm going to add a rectangle. I want to add a line, but I want the line to have some, some really depth and dimension to it. And then I um, just want to make sure it's kind of lined up here. And then I'm going to format it. Uh, again, we're using kind of these sepia tones. And we'll go to the fill. All right. And then uh, maybe I want to add a little depth to it. Just a little bit. Bottom offset. All right, and maybe that's a little too thick, so I could narrow that down a little. Okay, that's looking pretty sharp. Back to Slide Master tab, close Slide Master view. All right, so now you can see that that um, is showing up on every page. All right, just a few tips on uh, creating your own personalized template, and I uh, hope this is helpful to you, and we'll see you in another video.